Unit 5, Lesson 19, Project, a Travel Brochure, Part 4, Evaluación de los Aprendizajes y del Sistema Educativo. Revisarán el escrito elaborado para corregir errores detectados. Pink? Mm, no, maybe for a place as bright as Veracruz. Yellow! Ah, but all those jungles we visited. Mm, green! That's it! <laughs> no, I have to include red. I feel red is all I need here. So, the background is ready! <laughs> Second, I'm going to fold this paper in three parts. <laughs> Third, in the first part goes Diego's visit Veracruz. Fourth, just in the middle goes the location. It is the map to see where Veracruz is in relationship with other states in Mexico. Fifth, in how to get there, we have the map showing the air routes and the land routes to Jalapa, the port of Veracruz, and other important cities and towns. <laughs> and finally, the main attractions. Hmm, here we add points of interest for the tourists, such as the port of Veracruz, Tlacotalpan, Isla de los Sacrificios, Boca del Río, Jalapa, Tres Zapotes, and Tajín. <laughs> I only need those photos that Karen was supposed to bring, and it's done. Ah. ¿Ya se acordaron? Ahora sigamos con el programa. Los chicos han terminado el diseño del folleto. Y parece que falta poco para compararlo con el de Mariana. Veamos qué sucede. Oh, let me see the brochure. Mm -hmm. Now that I have my glasses on... I can look for any mistakes that there may be. Sure, take a look. Wow. Mm, this is beautiful. But it does have some mistakes. I'll fix them right away. Mm, okay. This is a capital letter. It needs a period here. Mm, here goes a comma mm -hmm. and an exclamation mark. Um, and there we go. Oh, I see now. I must make a final version without those mistakes. Perfect. Mm. It's finished. Excellent. Let me see it. Mm -hmm. I want to see it too. Let me see. Let me see. <laughs> mm -hmm. Diego, do you want to read it for us? Huh? Me? Sure, try it. It's your work, too. Yes, we're a team. Okay, I'll read it. Visit Veracruz. <laughs> the most colorful and cheerful state in Mexico. <laughs> Veracruz is located in eastern Mexico. Mm -hmm. It is bordered by the states of Tamaulipas, San Luis Potosí, Hidalgo, Puebla, mm -hmm. Oaxaca, mm -hmm. Chiapas, and Tabasco. Mm -hmm. Veracruz has a significant share of the coastline on the Gulf of Mexico. <laughs> How to get there from Mexico City? Hmm. You can take the route Mexico-Puebla-Jalapa or the route Mexico-Orizaba-Veracruz. The trip by car takes four hours approximately. <laughs> Main attractions. Wonderful things to see and do in Veracruz. <laughs> El Tajín is a pre-Columbian archaeological site. And it's one of the largest and most important cities from the classic era of Mesoamerica. 
Mm. Mm. Visit Boca del Río, a small fishing village at the mouth of the Hampa River. Playa Tuxpan is an excellent beach where you can play in the waves or even surf. Los Voladores de Papantla, a ceremony and ritual which has its roots in the pre-Hispanic period. Mm. Rafting in the Filobobos River, one of the fastest rivers in Mexico. Enjoy the exquisite Veracruz cuisine like the Zacahuil, a pork tamal. Wrapped in a banana leaf, along with a cup of the delicious Veracruz coffee. Mmm! Visit Veracruz today! It's a perfect place for a holiday! <laughs> Hi, Bill! Can you give us a hand? We need your help with something. Okay, sure. <laughs> so, what is this about? We made a brochure, but we're not sure about the spelling and the grammar. Can you check it for us? Sure, I'll check it. Where is it? <laughs> there, on the computer screen. Mm -hmm. hmm. Okay, let me see. <laughs> oh, it's about Oaxaca. I love Oaxaca. Yes, it's beautiful. It's a fascinating, magical state. Hmm, this is Oaxaca. The state of Oaxaca is located in the southern region of Mexico, in the middle of an area surrounded by mountains and valleys. Oh. <laughs> it is a state where the two Sierra Madres meet. Mm. Here, there's a comma, an apostrophe here, and... Uh -huh. And here we say that... Oaxaca is known mainly hmm. for its historical and cultural importance. Mm. There are more than 15 native nations that still live here. Each of them dress in very colorful costumes. Yes, Mateo took some very pretty pictures mm. of a Tehuana, mm -hmm. a Trique, mm -hmm. and a Mixteca. Mm. In Oaxaca, you can still see them living as they did hundreds of years ago. Mm. Stop interrupting, Angel. Let Billy continue. Sorry, Billy. Angel gets very excited. It all looks very good. Let's see. Beach resorts. Oaxaca has more than 300 miles of coastline. Most of them beautiful beaches. Mm. Oh, Bill. Hmm? You should go and enjoy the most beautiful beaches in the world. We visit Huatulco, Puerto Escondido, and Puerto Ángel. Wow! Uh, Puerto Escondido is known all over the world mm -hmm. as a great place to surf. Mm -hmm. They have competitions all the time. Ángel! Mm. Please, let Bill continue. Mm. Um, here you mention the wonderful city of Oaxaca. Let's see what you have to say about one of my favorite cities. Mm -hmm. It's rich in architecture. Mm -hmm. Only 10 kilometers away, you can find the Monte Alban ruins, one of the earliest cities in Mesoamerica. Mm -hmm. It dates back to 500 before Christ. And it was home to the Zapotecan Empire. In the city of Oaxaca, we can admire its Baroque-style buildings, built from green stone. Or we can visit the Museo de las Culturas in the ex-convento of Santo Domingo. If you're in Oaxaca in July, make sure you enjoy one of the most famous traditional festivals in Mexico, the Aguilaguetza. It is full of music, songs, dances, and delicious food. Wow! The food is incredible! There are about 10 varieties of mole in different colors. I love the colors of the costumes and the dancing. Yeah, it's all good. You did a great job, guys. Mm -hmm. Do you really think so? Yeah, it makes me want to go back there. Mm -hmm. Fantastic! That's the idea. Well, I have to go now, kids. But keep up the good work. Thank, Thank you, Bill. Bill. Ready. The brochure is finished. Hola amigos, 
en la lección de hoy, Gabriela, Ángel, Diego, Mariana y Karen revisaron sus folletos con la ayuda de alguien para corregir los errores de ortografía y gramática detectados. Aquí hay algunas escenas. Oh, it's about Oaxaca. I love Oaxaca. Yes, it's beautiful. It's a fascinating magical state. Hmm, this is Oaxaca. The state of Oaxaca is located in the southern region of Mexico, in the middle of an area surrounded by mountains and valleys. Oh. <laughs> it is a state where the two Sierra Madres meet. Mm. Here, there's a comma, an apostrophe here, and... Uh -huh. And here we say that... Oaxaca is known mainly mm. for its historical and cultural importance. Mm. There are more than 15 native nations that still live here. Each of them dress in very colorful costumes. Yes, Mateo took some very pretty pictures mm. of a Tehuana, mm -hmm. a Trique, mm -hmm. and a Mixteca. Mm. In Oaxaca, you can still see them living as they did hundreds of years ago. Mm. Stop interrupting, Ángel. Let Billy continue. Sorry, Billy. Ángel gets very excited. It all looks very good. Let's see. Beach resorts. Oaxaca has more than 300 miles of coastline. Most of them beautiful beaches. Mm. Oh, Bill. Hmm? You should go and enjoy the most beautiful beaches in the world. We visit Huatulco, Puerto Escondido, and Puerto Ángel. Wow! Uh, Puerto Escondido is known all over the world mm -hmm. as a great place to surf. Mm -hmm. They have competitions all the time. Ángel! Mm. Please, let Bill continue. Mm. Um, here you mentioned the wonderful city of Oaxaca. Let's see what you have to say about one of my favorite cities. Mm -hmm. It's rich in architecture. Mm -hmm. Only 10 kilometers away, you can find the Monte Alban ruins, one of the earliest cities in Mesoamerica. Mm -hmm. It dates back to 500 before Christ. And it was home to the Zapotecan Empire. In the city of Oaxaca, we can admire its Baroque-style buildings, built from green stone. Or we can visit the Museo de las Culturas in the ex-convento of Santo Domingo. If you are in Oaxaca in July, make sure you enjoy one of the most famous traditional festivals in Mexico, the Aguilaguetza. It is full of music, songs, dances, and delicious food. Wow! The food is incredible! There are about 10 varieties of mole in different colors. ¿Se fijaron? Después de que los chicos terminaron su folleto, lo revisaron con alguien para que no tuviera errores. Eso fue todo por esta lección. Recuerden mostrarle sus folletos o anuncios a sus maestros para que se los revisen. ¡Nos vemos! <risa>